everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Carolyn and this is my husband Brady. I'm currently on a journey to lose 150 pounds and we are going on a walk in the freezing cold weather. In yep. The fog, cold, mist. Misty. <laughs> I'm going to update you on a few things going on with me and my weight loss journey and all that stuff on this walk. So stick around for that. So we decided to take a walk because it's been a little while since we've gone for a walk. She said walk, I said go. <laughs> and we decided to go on a really cold day. So. Best planning ever. <laughs> but it gets us out and moving. So. It does. That's what we're and doing. And if my body has to fight off the cold as well, that's just that much more exercise, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so getting in some exercise together mm -hmm. and it's actually I don't feel as cold because I have well minor fingerless gloves but <laughs> <laughs> I have layers of clothing on so two pairs of pants t-shirt sweater two pairs of socks boots how you feel on the walk babe uh, despite having gloves on my fingertips are still cold Poor circulation. My cardiovascular sucks. I need to run more. <laughs> I'm not running. Because, though I haven't found an ice patch yet, if you look like at that driveway, it's wet. So yeah. it's going to freeze. And it's possible to find ice patches. Have you slipped on ice before? Nope. Never lived in Michigan before in my life. <laughs> no, I mean, like, have you slipped and fell on ice before, though? Yeah. So, <laughs> first time uh, ever doing said big thing. I just moved to Michigan. I was a little kid. And uh, there were kids that were in the parking lot. They'd found an icy spot on the parking lot. And what they were doing, they were running towards it. And they were sliding across it like they were kind of skating on it or whatever. Uh-huh. Like a skateboard kind of thing. How did you run over? So yeah, they they were skating across the the ice, like on a, or on a skateboard or whatever. I was like, that looks like fun. So I went to try. Yeah, I uh, didn't skate like a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. went out from under me and I hit the ground. Yeah, the last time I slipped on some ice was just actually a few years ago. And it was, I stepped out of my parents' house and I was going to take one of the dogs out and his little pebbles. And I had her in my arms because, you know, I didn't want her to hurt herself or slip on the steps or stuff. Yeah. Something I was like, oh, I can hold on to the railing or whatever. I literally went outside. My, I think it was my dad that was like, be careful. <laughs> stepped outside. First step I took down off the staircase. Whew, I slammed down and I had pebbles in my hand so I like gripped her. I was safely holding my dog making sure that she's okay. So I didn't catch myself at all. Hit my tailbone really hard on the stairs. Took out one of the banisters and the stairs were stone. So that hurt pretty bad. <laughs> yeah this is a nice little walk. It's starting to get foggy out and there's still snow around as you can see and we're supposed to get some more winter weather coming up i don't know when because they keep changing the day and time to further and further out yeah it was gonna you know rain snow mix 10 o'clock this morning it didn't it then they said like later. four <laughs> and they didn't then they said seven what is it now 5 30. yeah it's like five something now so I don't know if you guys can see the camera shifting up and down. My arm's starting to get tired. Okay, so while we're walking and got this time, walking and give you guys a couple little updates. First update is I feel like I've slightly hit a plateau. I know it doesn't, it's not that long of a period so far. It's been like two weeks maybe. <laughs> but I feel like I hit a little bit of a plateau and I feel like I haven't been regular, you know? So I got some Benefiber powder today and put it in my coffee. 
So I'm gonna start doing that daily, see if that helps out. And then I will update you guys on that further down the road, not on, you know, my regularity, but just if it's effective. <laughs> and then the other thing is we recently tried a new keto friendly soda. I was like, cool, you know, we haven't had soda in a while. And we liked having, you know, the occasional soda before. It wasn't like all the time soda drinkers. I definitely prefer like tea or something like that. But it was nice, you know, to have a carbonated beverage or something every now and then. And then sometimes if my stomach gets upset or something, I'd like to have, you know, ginger ale. So we found this new brand of soda. It's called Zepia. And we tried the ginger ale one first. You know, it didn't taste bad. I did notice that when I first drank it, it burned a lot, like I was drinking acid. <laughs> and I thought, maybe, you know, it's just because I haven't had a carbonated be beverage in a while. Maybe, you know, I'm just not used to it. I gotta get used to it. So I had a couple other times, still burning. Um, I started noticing I was getting, like, indigestion and felt like I had like, lack of better words, chunks caught like at the base of my throat or on my collarbone area. And then we ended up getting another flavor of soda. It was the black cherry. And same thing, you know, I drank it and it felt like I was drinking a really acidy drink. Then I started noticing I was getting like severe indigestion, like burning in my throat. My mouth was starting to feel like it had like almost like a chemical burn in it. And if I ate anything that had any kind of spice or acidity to it, it would just light my mouth up on fire. So needless to say, I had an allergic reaction to the Zevia soda and he's fine drinking it. Like I asked him, you know, when you drink this, does it taste like, or does it feel like you're drinking acid? He said, no, it feels like I'm drinking soda. <laughs> so, no Zevia soda for me. I don't know what it is in it. Um, I was reading a little bit about Zevia leaf extract and apparently it is in the same family as ragweed pollen. And I'm allergic, highly allergic to um, ragweed pollen and all things greenery. So, uh, of course I had a negative reaction to it. So I'm assuming it was that. There's also, you know, natural flavors and stuff. So maybe it was something in that. Maybe it was just the amount of the stevia leaf extract. I don't know, but I'm still trying to get over that because I had like the, you know, the chemical burn, the um, throat issues from that, and then my lips, swelled up really bad and got really chapped and burny and I can show you pictures of that because I took some pictures and maybe a video or two of that I don't know I'll show you whatever I have but yeah no Zevia soda for me he uh he's not gonna drink the soda anymore either just because he doesn't really feel like he needs it and um I can't drink it so we're just not going to <laughs> So, if you saw an Instagram post of the ginger ale Zevia soda that I had done when I first tried it, I was excited about it, all that stuff. I deleted that post since then <laughs> because I'm not excited about that anymore. But <laughs> anyway, so we're going to finish out our walk and you can stick around to see this week's weigh-in. Um, coming up right now and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel like the video subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notifications so you're notified every time I upload and I know it was a short video today but hey we're walking we're talking share it with your friends <laughs> share it with your friends your families your homies you know <laughs> share it <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>